men and women ask, what shall we do to be saved? You shall answer, believe this gospel of the kingdom, accept divine forgiveness. By faith, recognize the indwelling spirit of God, whose acceptance makes you a son of God. Have you not read in the scriptures where it says, in the Lord have I righteousness and strength. Also where the Father says, my righteousness is near, my salvation has gone forth, and my arms shall enfold my people. My soul shall be joyful in the love of my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation and has covered me with the robe of his righteousness. Have you not also read of the Father that his name shall be called the Lord, our righteousness? Take away the filthy rags of self-righteousness and clothe my son with the robe of divine righteousness and eternal salvation. It is forever true. The just shall live by faith. Entrance into the Father's kingdom is wholly free. But progress, growth in grace, is essential to continuance therein. Salvation is the gift of the Father and is revealed by his sons. Acceptance by faith on your part makes you a partaker of the divine nature, a son or a daughter of God. By faith you are justified. By faith are you saved. And by this same faith, are you eternally advanced in the way of progressive and divine perfection? By faith was Abraham justified and made aware of salvation by the teachings of Melchizedek. All down through the ages has this same faith saved the sons of men, but now has a son come forth from the Father to make salvation more real and acceptable. You cannot buy salvation. You cannot earn righteousness. Salvation is the gift of God, and righteousness is the natural fruit of the spirit born life of sonship in the kingdom. You are not to be saved because you live a righteous life. Rather, is it that you live a righteous life because you have already been saved, have recognized sonship as a gift of God, and service in the kingdom? as the supreme delight of life on earth. When men believe this gospel, which is a revelation of the goodness of God, they will be led to voluntary repentance of all known sin. Realization of sonship is incompatible with the desire to sin. Kingdom believers hunger for righteousness and thirst for divine perfection.